We're making healthier Snickers ice cream that is high in protein with cottage cheese and naturally sweetened with maple syrup. It has all the irresistible Snickers flavor with ribbons of peanut butter and chocolate, and it's ready in just a few hours without an ice cream maker. Hello, my name is Nicole Bonilla, and if you love healthier recipes for our favorite foods, then you are in the right place. To make this really easy ice cream, all you need is an upright blender or a food processor, or I'm gonna use my Nutribullet. Now what makes this ice cream so delicious and higher in protein is the cottage cheese. And you might be wondering how we're gonna get rid of that curdled texture. Well, as soon as we blend it up with our other ingredients, it's gonna be smooth and creamy and undetectable. So we're gonna start with one and a half cups of cottage cheese, and you could use large curd, small curd, low fat, non-fat, whatever your preference. I like to use the full fat for the most creaminess. Now you're welcome to jot down these ingredients as we go along, or you can click on the link that's in the video description below, and that will take you to the recipe with all the details. Now to add more flavor and protein, we're going to use protein powder, and you could use any that you like. I really like using this vanilla flavor powder that is made from vegetable protein as well as nuts and seeds. And I've included a link below if you'd like to check it out. So I have fourth a cup of protein powder and a fourth a cup of milk, and I'm just using almond milk. And for natural sweetness, we'll add three tablespoons of maple syrup. And you could add more or less depending on how sweet your protein powder is. Now we'll add a teaspoon of vanilla, and I'm just using my cap because it equals a teaspoon. Now we simply screw on the lid, place it on the base, and let it blend for about 30 seconds until it's completely smooth. Well, that looks great, and we no longer have the curdled cottage cheese texture. And then you can take any shallow dish, and we're simply going to pour our cream mixture into the bottom. And it works a lot better to use a shallow dish because then your ice cream freezes a lot faster. Next, we're gonna make the peanut butter ribbon that goes through the ice cream. And I really like using natural unsweetened peanut butter. So I'm gonna add a fourth a cup of peanut butter to a bowl. And as our natural sweetener, we're gonna add two tablespoons of maple syrup. And then we'll just stir these together with the spatula. And now I'll just take some scoops of peanut butter and then just kind of run it across the ice cream. And it's okay that it's just in some large blobs right now. We just want to have it fairly evenly distributed. Now you have several options for adding your chocolate to the ice cream. You could just go ahead and sprinkle in your chocolate chips or even some mini chocolate chips and call it good. Or if you'd like to have it running through the ice cream and some beautiful ribbons, you can melt down the chocolate first. So in a bowl, I just added three tablespoons of chocolate chips. Then I'm adding one teaspoon of coconut oil. That's gonna help make it a little bit smoother and easier to pour. And then I'll put this in the microwave in 30 second intervals, stirring in between until it's nice and smooth. So after two intervals of 30 seconds, our chocolate is now melted. So I'm just gonna give it a good stir till it's nice and smooth. And now it has a nice runny consistency to pour over the ice cream. Now your bowl of chocolate could be a little bit on the warm side, so you might want to use a towel or an oven mitt to hold it. So I'm just gonna take my spatula and drizzle it over the top of the ice cream. And if possible, you'll want to make some thinner strands of the chocolate and try to avoid any really large clumps of chocolate. Now, if you could use more healthy inspiration on a regular basis, I invite you to join my email list. All you have to do is click on the link in the description below, and that is the best way for us to stay connected. And last but not least, I'm going to sprinkle in about a fourth a cup of some peanuts, and you can use any variety that you like. I might hold out a few to put on the top. And then we're just going to take our spatula and go in and just kind of make some big swirls, breaking up the chocolate and the peanut butter into the ice cream. And I don't want to mix it up too much because I want to see a distinction between those different ribbons of color. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. I am so excited about this. And you can customize this however you like. And then I'll just sprinkle a few of my remaining peanuts on top. Well, this looks incredible and it's ready to go into the freezer. And depending on how deep your bowl is, it could take anywhere from two to four hours for it to set. Well, here's a batch I made earlier and it is ready to enjoy. Now cottage cheese ice cream is a little bit different than regular ice cream because it can become fairly solid once it's frozen. But all you have to do is take it out of the counter, let it sit out for maybe 10-15 minutes and give it a minute to thaw and soften and then it will be perfectly scoopable. So I'm going right down the middle for my scoop. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. I'm going into my bowl. I love seeing those individual swirls of the peanut butter as well as the chocolate and the peanuts. Crunchy. That is incredible. That gives you all the flavors of a Snickers, but without being overpoweringly sweet. I love the depth of flavor that you get from the peanut butter strands, as well as the melted chocolate. 
And I love the flavor of the protein powder that I used, as well as that slight cheesecakey flavor of the cottage cheese. And I love that it's made with clean natural ingredients, which means I'm gonna feel just as good even after I eat it. And I want you to know that I believe in you and your ability to make these foods that will leave you feeling fantastic from the inside out. And I wanna thank you for hanging out with me today in my kitchen. And I've included a link to the full recipe and it's in the description below, which will take you to my website, gentletummy.com. And I also invite you to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I cannot wait to have you hang out with me again in my kitchen.